Hello again, I'm Diego Fernandez Sevilla. Once more, I decided to make a video trying to highlight how easily can be related the atmospheric conditions and whether you can feel that location in any of your location with some of the theories about uh, atmospheric dynamics and climate change, environmental dysfunctions and all the biological links that we can identify with the running of our planet. This time I'm talking from Ourense, a place located inland in the northwest corner of Spain. This is actually an image about the sunset and on the right side a smoke plume from a building from the heating system. The shape we can see in the plume and the clouds are related and in both cases we have a contrast in temperature between the air mass located in one area and the temperature in the air mass surrounding this area. Both mass masses of air with different temperature have also a different density and the contact between both masses of air, one with higher temperature than the surrounding one with lower temperature, creates the shapes which in physics are called Rayleigh-Taylor instabilities. That happens in the smoke coming from the chimney as well as in the shape in the, for the clouds. The implications from having this knowledge and the applicability for it in the current state of our atmospheric patterns is something which I have uh, discussed since 2014 in my line of research, looking at the satellite images and all the data recorded from different sensors around the world, talking about temperature variations in temperature anomalies, uh, rain precipitation patterns, well, precipitation patterns in the shape of rain or snow, and uh, all the different displacements of uh, cold masses of air coming from the Arctic into mid latitudes or warm masses of air going into northern latitudes. All these dynamics, all these shapes we can see in satellite images, all this data we can record from different sensors. All that information can be described as an increase in the energy contained in the atmosphere, as an increase load that can be carried by water vapor across latitudes and longitudes and in some cases even in altitude triggering what is called sad stratospheric sudden warming events all these anomalies in temperature when are compared with the location of the clouds in satellite images shows that the shapes of the cloud bands at large scale are drawing what are railer Taylor instabilities with a very characteristic shape which is also known when uh, we see images of nuclear explosions nuclear explosions have this mushroom shape or trigger this mushroom shape because the temperature of the air which is uh, triggered by the explosion by the release of the energy from the nuclear reaction 
is so high that creates a contrast with the temperature which is in the atmosphere to the point of generating the railer Taylor instability which is the shape of a hot mass of air intruding in a colder mass of air which is the atmosphere in this case this shape can be also seen when uh, cold air from the Arctic moves into warm air at mid latitudes and when warm air from mid latitudes pushes their way into Arctic latitudes carrying water vapor thanks to their enhanced thermal capacity so as you can see sometimes just looking at the landscape can be more than just enjoying the colors and the light I hope you enjoyed this brief presentation and please if you have any question explore the whole line of research you will find throughout the internet research gate and my blog at Diego Fernandez Sevilla WordPress.com. Thank you for now. Bye.